The modern version of the bikini was patented by Louis Reard in 1946. His design was more akin to the skimpy string bikinis. Bikinis made news, and then as versions had become more skimpier, they had always attracted attention. When the bikini was named, its impact was likened to the test atomic explosion on Bikini Atoll. Soon I have a picture coming up that is uh, a cotton batik bikini worn by a teenager. Here is a picture of the uh, cotton batik bikini worn by a teenager. But its impact was nothing as radical as the G-string or even more revealing as the thong, also called the Brazilian tanga. The tanga was worn more often in Europe and America in the 90s and became very usual in the 2000s among the young. <clears throat> With it came a boon in public waxing and Brazilian wax. Now in 2006, many women have taken it to the extreme to... Uh, women have been also getting uh, basic hair removal, which over a certain amount of time also becomes permanent, so they don't have to deal with the painful waxing. Uh, in the uh, late 1990s, the most recent innovative swimwear was a tan-through fabric, and women loved this because they did not have to show their nude body at the beach instead of being nude, they wore the tan through fabric swimsuits. In 2007, Speedo developed a uh, light performance swimsuit, which was mainly meant for swimmers. This is a picture of it right here for a uh, bikini version. Um, this was meant more for uh, competitive athletes that were swimmers because it was lightweight. It is mainly used in competition swimming because, uh, because it's very costly. Um, so this is my presentation, and I'd like to Thank you for your time, and hope you enjoyed it. My name is Patrick O'Rourke. All right, thank you.